of the house, which is the way they introduced you now. Yeah, because what do you do on. as head of the house? I like I have children that look up to me. They come to me with their problems. When it how comes many? To how many people? Well, it varies. Sometimes I've had as many as seventy, and sometimes down to twenty. Can anyone? If I say I want to join the house of Labeja, it's do I get in? So. It used to be easy. Yeah, well, so it's no really like a fraternity. Easy. So it's like yes, it's like a fraternity in a, in a college. Now they want you to win. In other words, you have to yeah. go to the ball and Prove make yourself. a statement. You've got to win a trophy, and then they'll maybe they'll let you, you come house. into the yeah. house. Mm -hmm. So there's some houses that are better than other houses. Yes, of course, like a lot. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Willie? Are you part of a house? Well, and. Um, Mid-80s, I had the House of Ninja formed. House of Ninja, Yeah, right. I was the mother of that. And, um... How many people in the House of Ninja? Yeah, when we first started, it was only 10. Right. And then it progressed during a couple of years later. Um, then I started hitting career-wise, and I said, well, you can't have a part-time mother, so I kind of closed the house. And from there, Patricia Field started her house and asked me to join her, so now... Which is called the House of Field. House of Field. Now, as a head of a house, do you... Do they live with you? Do you lend them no, money? No, do you no. act as a psychiatrist? Uh, yeah. What does the head of a house Sometimes. do? You do. You lend money yeah. to your friends, very much money, <laughs> yeah. and advice, <laughs> and advice, and that sort of thing. They don't live with you very seldom. Sometimes, or like if someone's down in their luck or got evicted or whatever, you might take them in if they're in your house for a, a, a few days or something. So it really is like a group. It's like a club. It's like a club. Yeah. That's it's exactly. It takes care of each other. It takes, mm -hmm. It's just very, um, each house is very different, but some houses are like a close-knit family. They do look after each other. They stick together. If they're in a the club and one is in trouble, then that house is behind them. Right. You know. Um, so this is really a, a way of, of dealing with society, Jenny. It's much more... Well, I think also um, one thing that, that Pepper and Dorian say in, in the film is that many people have been actually kicked out by their, by their families. They, they come out, they say, I'm gay at 13 or 14 or 15 or 16 or 17. The family says, I can't deal with you. You're not my child, mm -hmm. you know. And that person was left on the street. And this happens a lot to gay teenagers. Yeah. And this is supposedly um, parents say, oh, I love my child no matter what. But as soon as they hear that, they could, I could see people like, will love a murderer more will love a rapist more, so, but if they say they're gay, I disown you. You're dead. You're non-existent. I don't see you anymore, and I know quite a few people that's happened to. What about the, the, the neighborhood now? Because you're in rough streets. In, how do you protect each other this way? To be gay in Harlem, I think, would be much more difficult than to be gay on East 57th Street. <laughs> Well, actually, let me correct that. Uh, I mean, no, anti-gay anti violence has gone up 200% in yeah. the last couple of years, um, probably as a result of prejudice uh, involving AIDS, or just as a yeah. result of people's tendency to be prejudiced about something or other. Um, and I, don't, I, I think, actually, that's not restricted to, to neighborhoods in Harlem. That happens a lot mm -hmm. in the West Village, because people go there to find gay right. people. Um, I mean, it's dangerous everywhere in New York. I've that told is. people in the past, they've always said, um, when they were, say, reading us, they would say, well, you guys are dressed up in women's clothes, you're finding an easy way out. But they don't realize we have a harder time than the heterosexual man. Because first of all, we have to deal with the fact that if you're a person of color, you have to deal with that. Then you have to deal with the fact that you want to be different. And when you go against the grain, the majority, they want to get you. Does so we have a harder time. In okay. the homosexual world, see, because mm -hmm. I, I never found mm -hmm. it does. Yeah. Right, tell me, like in any other world, it can really, of really. Okay, I, oh, you say of course, and because I've been but so when, involved, when, and I've never thought. When I first started getting into balls, when I first came to New York, because I came, mm -hmm. I came to the show, and we settled in New York. And when I first went to the early balls, and uh, outside of Phil Black's ball, which was up in Harlem, so that was the contrary rule. But the other balls, Pepper will tell you, like. Uh, certain balls, I won't mention which one, but if you were of color, you weren't going to get in unless you knew someone or unless your color was very pale. You know, you just weren't going to get in. That's, that's what chased the, started the balls uptown. There was nothing for the children of color downtown, actually. And then there was also nothing for anyone who wasn't going to wear feathers and beads. Yes, because this so, to me, you two... Look like a ball, like... Look like what I've, yeah, I've been to a lot of drag mm -hmm. balls and I've been a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, I'm the one that has to vote, which also kills you, because everybody looks so good. And you've got to say, oh, okay, I vote for number three. But, um, uh, but uh, when, you, when they said drag, 
And then I went and I saw people dressed as schoolgirls, mm -hmm. trying to look like a schoolgirl. I found that so fascinating. That's because we became dinosaurs. Yeah. No one wants to spend the money or expense of making beaded gowns and buying feathers and going without other things to do all this madness. And when it's so much easier to just wear a sportswear or something, and then you can still perform, you can still yeah. participate without having to spend a great deal of money. So they, they got many categories for that. I want to go into more of, on, on your backgrounds and your childhood and what your families, you know, because you, you thought when you, they first saw you looking good. <laughs> but, uh, but looking good, not the way they want to see Junior looking good. Uh, we'll be back in a moment to discuss this and a lot more, so please stay with us. It's been really unbelievable, my life. If I was to die today or tomorrow, I could not say I've not had an exciting life. I have had a fabulous... And I'm not rich, mind you. Just imagine if I had the dollar.